Ask any CEO where they'd rather locate and hire, a country with deteriorating roads and bridges or one with high-speed rail and Internet. The CEO of Siemens America, a company that brought hundreds of new jobs to North Carolina, said that if we upgrade our infrastructure, they'll bring even more jobs. And that's the attitude of a lot of companies all around the world. This has been uh, an extraordinary four years for high-speed rail. We've come a long way. Uh, you all have been so helpful in uh, helping us uh, to uh, make this uh, very short journey, uh, but make an awful lot of progress. When the economic recovery plan was passed by Congress within 30 days of the President being sworn in, there was $8 billion for high-speed passenger rail. That's 8 billion times more than had ever been invested by our national government in passenger rail in America. So high-speed rail, passenger rail is coming to America. There's no turning back. Now, we believe that the progress that we've made over the last four years is because of organizations like this with strong leadership in the states and the kind of vision that we think emanates from uh, the White House and uh, around the country. You all need to continue to work hard. You need to continue to hold these meetings, but hold public officials' feet to the fire. That's the only way this will be accomplished, with good facts, good information, and good advocacy to make sure that we continue to make progress.